Hello, Turners. I'm pleased to introduce to you the women who comprise Northern Lights, Linda Ferber, Roseanne Gold, Ellen Starr, and Janice Evans. While we've met each other at wood turning meetings, we had not been collaborators until Linda Ferber pulled us together for this Women in Turning adventure. Our little cover sculpture represents us, four distinctly different entities who share some similarities and came together to become a single piece of a larger endeavor. By background, we've embodied the roles of teacher, artist, facilitator, and embellisher. And throughout this process, we each took each role as we encouraged, challenged, and collaborated to create fluid containment. As we set out, we agreed that we wanted a project that was deeply collaborative, encompassed multiple media, and prompted each of us to try something new. It sounds great, but we learned that we each have a strong focus on independence. Thus, that collaboration idea can take a little getting used to. The group refinement of ideas, embracing ideas as they evolve, and the angst of not having all my contributions make it to the final result. The Northern Lights team is a group of respectful, talented, encouraging women. Now that we've got more experience in collaboration, we really like it. We have wood turning as a common starting point and a proclivity toward problem solving. Beyond that, the array of experience in multiple media that this group brings gave us a plethora of choices for where to begin. So with those commitments and resources in mind, here's what we did. Our random words are fluid and containment. After substantial discussion as to what that could mean, we decided to create a sculpture that, for us, evokes the fluidity of change while containing the elements we hold sacred. In concept, this would be a bowl supported above a platter, somehow pouring its contents forward. It would represent the seed or essence of ourselves, our embracing of change, yet holding true to the things we hold dear. Yep, this team runs deep. So we did some brainstorming on what it is that we hold dear. Certainly creativity, relationships, the environment, the list goes on. But how to visualize these huge concepts? Well, before this project, I only needle felt the dryer balls. So it's time to break me out of my comfort zone and make some representative small objects. Needle felting takes unspun wool and jabs it intently with a barbed needle. Just so you know, those barbs hurt just as much as they enter your finger as when you pull them out. Linda got the needle felting bug, learned some origami, and turned some miniatures, a first for her. Roseanne took origami to a new level, creating objects that evoked cherished memories. So now we have pieces. Here comes the tricky part. We need a structure. Linda turned a lovely platter and using her embellishing skills added blues and greens of milk paint to create a sense of movement. She created our seed pod. It was painted using acrylics, starting with a black base, using brown and three shades of green, mixing from dark to light with dry brush technique. Roseanne turned a beautiful bowl. and learned to leave a, a rounded bottom, her first time for a bowl without a foot. So glue block, rubber chucky, double-sided tape, patience and problem solving. Then, after creating with pride, she gave up individual ownership and let Ellen gild the inside. But the concept really hinges on making that bowl hover above the platter. As in any great collaboration, the ideas evolve over time. At first, we plan to leverage Ellen's metalworking skills to create a stand to hold the bowl over the platter. With experimentation and her range of design and tool skills, she was able to laser cut a three-piece stand that looks like trees. So here's our big reveal. We are pleased to have created fluid containment. But more than that, we've leveraged our thinking, applied our skills, experimented with new to us techniques, and had the pleasure of knowing and collaborating with a wonderful group of women. And even at this project's end, we met to collaborate on how our process and results might be presented. We did a personal reflection, wrote notes about our individual goals, processes, learnings, and challenges. And the combinations of those reflections impacted the content, flow, and tone of our slides for a presentation that is both fluid and contained in five minutes. 
Northern Lights Fluid Containment.